up, it's your girl Brooke here, and it is currently 2.52 a.m. I've decided I no longer sleep properly. My hair is a mess because I had up in a ponytail earlier. I don't look my best. Um, I'm not even sure how well you can see me. I don't know if the camera is blurry. I know nothing. I just set it up and hit the record button pretty much. Um, I've... I got in my Bible tonight and opened back up again to the book that I can't seem to get away from here lately called Ruth. And basically, the book of Ruth really speaks to me. And this video probably won't get a bunch of views because ugh, I'm talking all Jesus y today. <laughs> and I don't really care. Because this is something that I occasionally am going to talk about on this channel. Um, because these are the things that speak to my heart. And I want to make videos that speak to my heart. So, if you're my friend and you're watching this, thank you. If you're a random stranger that came across my video, how? Also, thank you. Um, I want to speak from the heart. There is this book called Ruth and chapter two, I can't get away from it. I can't tell you the amount of times I've read chapter two. I don't know what that means in my life right now. All I know is I'm at a stage of gleaning and gleaning or glean means to gather bit by bit. And Ruth went out into a field that she had never known about before. She asked her mother-in-law, um, it was technically her ex-mother-in-law at that point because her husband had passed away. Anyways, and so Ruth went out to this random field and began to gather bit by bit by bit by bit. She was gathering um, grain that was left over by the harvesters. It was probably the pieces of grain that they no longer needed or wanted or could use. And she was gathering them up so she could take them back home. And so she could use them for herself because although they may not be great for what they were needing, they were perfect for her. So their left behind scraps were like gold for her. And so she was gathering them bit by bit by bit. And in the process of doing this, she comes across a man named Boaz that notices her and is like, who is that in my field? I don't recognize her. And they tell him who she is. And he, he's like, oh my God, you are amazing. And she's like, wait, why, why do you like me so much? What have I done? And he's basically like, I heard of what you did for your mother-in-law. I heard of how you're taking care of Naomi even when you don't have to. And I think you're wonderful. And I am going to protect you. And I want you to continue to harvest in my field until harvest season is over. And come in, just take a break from what you're doing right now and come have some bread. Like have some bread and dip it in the wine vinegar. Like, just come in, sit down, and eat with me for a moment. And then continue to go out there and continue to do what you're doing. I'll protect you. That man didn't know her from Adam. And he's willing to protect her. That's more than any boy's ever thought about doing for me. I'm just saying. But, it's like... If you have favor with God... He will protect you in whatever you come across. And when he gives you a new task, or you feel something in your gut that's from him, or you feel like you know that's what you're supposed to be doing, but he's making you wait, and you keep gathering all this information on that topic, and he's like, just wait, just wait, just keep gathering, just keep gleaning, and eventually... It'll come full circle, but eventually it will explode into something you never knew possible. But shut up, wait, and keep gleaning. I don't know. I just wanted to share that with you. That's where I feel like I'm at in my life right now, where I'm supposed to just keep gleaning and not, and not with just one thing in my life, with loads of things in my life. Because 
the more I do that, and the more I'm patient, the more things may blossom into something I never knew they were. So, I just wanted to share with you where I'm currently at, at like 2.57 a.m. now. <laughs> That's where I'm at. I'm stuck in the Book of Ruth, Chapter 2. And I don't know how many times you can read something over and over again. But that's what I keep doing. I keep reading it. And I keep believing it. And I keep trusting it. Because I know one day it'll blossom into something beautiful and be mine. But until then, I just keep gleaning and I just keep reading. So, down in the comments below, let me know something you keep going back to. Something you keep rereading, or something that just keeps getting stuck in your head, whether it's something you're reading, a song you can't seem to get yourself away from, whether it's a quote that keeps popping up everywhere, whether it's something one friend said to you and the next friend says it to you and the next, whatever it is that just keeps reappearing in your life that you can't seem to get away from right now, let me know about it down in the comments below. Um, as always, make sure to hit that red subscribe button because more subscribers is always better um make sure to give the video a ray because we like when our video shine brighter and on that note ladies and gentlemen since it is really late i am really tired and i kind of look like crap i should probably get off here and go to bed and you know what this whole time i've done this with this little black thing on my forehead that you've probably been wondering what it was. Let me tell you, I have a pimple. It's not pretty and it's red and I put some stuff on it to try and get rid of it. So I apologize if this was all you could focus on and you barely were listening to me. I know it's ginormous. So that note, ladies and gents, I am going to go. Adieu.